I was thinking about this earlier, what does it say? You know, RMIT is a, is a university of technology and design, and, and I'm about designing future devices and I want them to become the, the core of a new quantum technology. And that context is something that you get from RMIT. It's really quite special. So we have this issue that the laws of physics, laws of quantum physics are fairly well known. We've been making electronic devices that use quantum physics, um, particularly the wave-like nature of electrons. Um, we've had them, they're inside every computer chip, they're changing our lives, but it's using the laws of physics that we understand and quite frankly are boring. We want to use the laws of physics that are shocking and surprising. Measurement, entanglement, we want to use all of these effects to design new kinds of devices. The grand goal of what I'm working on is the quantum computer and this is a big overarching push. Um, the quantum computer is a device that many of us hope will completely change the way we do computation. That's a long way off. Before then, we're very interested in, uh, I'm very interested in quantum emulators. So these are quantum devices that you can build where you tailor uh, the quantum mechanical effects to be the same as some system of interest. When we talk about systems of interest, it sounds nebulous, but we're actually talking about chemical, chemicals in particular. We want to be able to understand all of the processes that go on, maybe inside a caffeine molecule. Um, this is a non-trivial problem, it's a hard problem. Uh, and it's hard because you can't get in there and measure all of the quantum mechanical properties. And so my work is constant. One of the aspects of my work has been understanding how to build a photonic system based of, a system based of light that would enable us to model all of these interactions. And so you have new ways of probing things, new sensitivities. And so you'd like to build new forms of quantum limited sensors. Um, here, much of the theory is known but building these quantum devices in robust and deployable fashions, that's really hard. That's still a non-trivial problem. Uh, and that's one of the things that I've been looking at here. The research culture here is fun. RMIT has been hiring uh, lots of young people with good new ideas and it's a fun time to be here. People come into my office, we sit at the whiteboard, uh, kick around ideas. Uh, we have students coming in here. There's a lot of freedom to explore ideas which would you know, might be considered just crazy um, but of course need to be started. We need to start with the ideas and whittle them down until we find out what's the interesting essence of that. Um, it's a fun place to be doing work. There is nothing so exciting as seeing a new effect for the first time. When you have a new idea, it must have been how the early explorers felt when they discovered a new country or a new continent. I can sit down in front of my computer with my students and we can see something on the screen that we've never seen before. For me, science, physics, it's just a joy uh, and I love uh, the opportunity, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be able to work as a practicing professional scientist.